Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. If your dishwasher is not draining, here are the top five most probable causes. The drain pump uses an impeller to force water through the drain hose. If the pump motor is not working, the water won't drain from the dishwasher. Pump motors can fail both electrically and mechanically. You can use a multimeter to help determine if the motor has failed electrically by testing for continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the motor. If the motor tests negative for continuity, it will need to be replaced. Be aware that some models only have one motor to both circulate and drain the water. If the dishwasher's drain hose is connected to a newly installed garbage disposer, check to see if the knockout plug has been left in the disposer's drain tube. The knockout plug needs to be removed in order for the dishwasher to drain. If the plug has been removed, it's possible that the disposer is clogged with debris. Try cleaning out the drain tube to clear any obstruction. The drain hose itself can become obstructed as well. Since obstructions most commonly occur at either end, you should remove the drain hose from both the disposer and the drain pump to inspect it. Some models have a drain solenoid valve that opens to allow the water to drain. If the solenoid fails, the valve will not open. As with the pump motor, you can use a multimeter to test the drain solenoid for continuity to help determine if the valve has failed electrically or not. A check valve prevents water from returning to the dishwasher once it's been pumped out. If the check valve gets stuck in the closed position, the water won't drain properly. You can try cleaning the valve, but if the problem continues, you should replace it. On some models, the check valve uses a check ball to prevent water from backing up into the tub. The water won't drain if the ball gets stuck. If the check ball continues to get stuck in the valve, it should be replaced. For additional troubleshooting information, enter your appliance's full model number in our website's Repair Help search bar. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.